Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nick here, back again with a really cool implementation. So, this time I wanted to uh, I wanted the player to have a kill streak, right? So, when he reaches a certain amount of kills without dying, he's going to get like a special ability. And I wasn't sure what to do until I came up with this idea. So, the ability is called Phantom Stride, and uh, as you can see, my character has a sword in the back with a flappy strap, like very much uh, the same to what we did to the SMG, remember with the strap? This is literally the same. I made the asset in Blender, textured it in Substance Painter, and uh, yeah, imported it in Unreal, and you know, like did all the physic, physics uh, stuff. Right. So if I pick up the weapon and I start killing people, right now I got to five kills and I get the Phantom Stride Ready prompt. Like right now, when I activate the ability, I'm gonna enter a new combat state, which will allow me to use the ability. Now, uh, how does the counter work is that every person I kill while I'm in Phantom Stride mode doesn't add to the tally. So I cannot just, you know, like use Phantom Stride, which is easier to kill people with. Uh, kill people and get Phantom Stride again. That's not how it works. If I have five kills right now and I activate it, it goes to zero. And then if I kill people while using Phantom Stride, it's not going to go up. Also, if I get killed while I have like four, three kills, it's just going to reset back to zero obviously and if I get killed also if I have 10 15 kills in the phantom stride kill streak is also gonna go back to zero but if I activate phantom stride when I have 10 kills let's say uh, it's gonna subtract five from it and then I can use phantom stride right away to, right away again of course so this is how it looks Spawns a really cool Nagar effect also on the blade as you can see like there is the this trail following the blade everywhere which is really nice and then if I hit Phantom Stride uh, now it's finished but it tele teleports me instantly to the character killing him let me regain stride okay Stops movement also for a second, so you cannot actually move while activating it. I wanted the character to be slightly impaired while activating Phantom Stride. You know, the special ability to be. Like also, you cannot crouch, you cannot go prone, you cannot slide, and all that stuff. Actually, just noted a little bug, but uh, yeah. I thought I fixed that, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, th that's what it looks like. Uh, let's actually have a look at it from a different angle, because I have a client here just standing by. So I'll show you also what it looks like. It really deserves like a second angle, because I spent so much time doing this bloody Niagara system with all of the stuff, so it really deserves to be seen from a different angle. Okay, now I have Phantom Stride. back to the normal normal weapon right uh, same works if you have two weapons you know like it's gonna attach the secondary to the backpack the secondary to the backpack you know in the usual spot and when you're gonna use phantom stride it's just gonna attach it to the tertiary weapon to the side of the backpack instead of attaching it to the usual spot that's how it works as you can see, I have the M4 on the right side, the shotgun in the back, and the blade in the hand. And once the timer runs out, there you go. The blade is gone back to the tertiary weapon spot, which is that part of the backpack. And then I have shotgun in the back, and you know, the usual M4 there honestly I love this uh, ability and uh, I think it worked out really well in the end like I really struggled a lot with uh, quite a few things because it wasn't easy especially with sounds and replication but uh, yeah eventually it all worked out well I hope you like it let me know what you think about it and uh, cheers see you next time